guys, it's Danielle. So today I'm going to be going talking to you guys about my tattoos. So I currently have like seven tattoos. I have seven tattoos and they all have a special meaning to me. So I'll be talking about that. Oh, I for yeah, I do have seven tattoos. I just forgot to take a picture of one of them. Um, so the first tattoo is right here. I actually got a wave tattoo on my foot. I got it like a couple days before I moved down to Florida to go to college. At the time I was studying marine science, so I thought it was, it was like, oh, it's like for marine science. But then honestly, at the time period, I was like, oh, it could relate to Moana because Moana just came out and stuff like that. But I think it's because like the fact that this was the furthest I was away from home for the first time. I was just like, oh, like no matter where I am in the world, something with the sea, I don't know. It's just a simple wave. It's a very, very cliche tattoo, but it means a lot to me. It's my first tattoo. So my second one is right here it is a uh, outline of a butterfly no special butterfly just a butterfly i hear people outside and i don't like it okay So sorry. So um, it's actually right here. Um, so my grandpa, my not my grandpa, my uncle passed away my senior year of high school, and um, I didn't get the tattoo until my twentieth birthday, like after I turned uh, not twenty, no, after I turned nineteen, so for my nineteenth birthday. And I got that one because after he passed away, I kept seeing butterflies everywhere, so I just assumed that was him. And I am Christian, and by um, monarchs especially mean um resurrection but i was like if i'm like i see him as a butterfly because i see him i see butterflies every day and i know that's a weird thing but ever since he died i've seen him every day no matter where i am so sorry so i have a rose tattoo it's on my side right here and it means a lot of things it represents my favorite movie one of my favorite disney movies uh disney princess movies beauty and the beast I know, cliche. It also represents a quote I really love. Uh, La vie en rose. La vie en rose. I'm sorry, I have Spanish. I don't speak French. But um, it means look at the world through rose colored glass. And I just, it's one of my favorite kind of flowers. And then my fourth tattoo, I did not take pictures. But this is my zodiac sign. I'm an Aquarius. I got that in England. It was supposed to actually be ben, Big B, Big Ben. I went to London for a month in January when I was a sophomore and um, I wanted to get a outline of, tat of Big Ben on my finger and take a picture in front of it. Actually, it was supposed to be this finger, like one of my fingers and one of these three fingers. And I wanted to just take a picture in front of it, just let it, the outline, yeah, to cover Big Ben. But they couldn't do that, so I just want my zodiac sign. And then my next tattoo that I got was the sunflower on my neck. Now that one, everyone thought it was going to hurt really bad, but it really didn't. It tickled, but it didn't really hurt. Um, the one I got on my side, my rose, is the one that hurt the most. But yeah, my little sunflower. I think it's a fun... I don't... It's, I would say it's a sunflower or a daisy. I, I don't know. It looks like a sunflower. Oh, but then it's not big enough to be a sunflower. I know it's weird. Hey. Sorry, I'm exhausted, but it's my little sunflower and I, I love it. And then I got my second star to the right. So my second star to the right, uh, I used to do theater plays. And one of my favorite productions I've ever been in was Peter Pan. And that's honestly one of my favorite movies. Like I can't even watch it without crying. Like the 2004 one or the original one that Disney did. I actually have read the book by James and Barry. And I just have a special connection to the movie. So I just decided... Uh, and also, I wanted a Disney tattoo, and I said if I was going to get a Disney tattoo, it would be that one, because I didn't want to get a mouse. I thought that was too much. I wanted to get Tinkerbell, like a nice outline of Tinkerbell. I'll show you. It's going to be right here. A nice outline of Tinkerbell. But I didn't want to get that, so I got this. And now, <laughs> the final one I have that I think you guys have seen. I don't know if you could see it. If I rotate in my head, you can see it. But I'm posting a picture right here. Is my butterfly. Um, I actually thought about getting this, a cover-up for this one, and getting it to look more like a monarch of some sort but then I felt bad because then I'm covering up the tattoo I got for my uncle and I didn't want to do that so sorry I decided then to um 
get another tattoo and I said to get it behind my ear. I'm really picky with placement with my tattoos because it is something that does go on your body. So I am very picky about it. Uh, and then I think for my eighth tattoo is a wishbone tattoo. Me and my, one of my best friends who I met actually here, we and her are getting wishbone tattoos. We haven't made an appointment. I think we might have to get it done separately because we can't be together because of COVID to get it done. But um, now, yeah, I plan to get a wishbone. And then eventually, as I get older, I plan to get more tattoos. But for right now, I'm kind of just stopping for a little bit with the tattoos. But yeah, that's the video I have for you guys for now. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow in the next video. Bye. Thank you.